Okay, here we are again. Game three of my match with others. Fortunately, I lost this game. Um, I don't have much excuses. Of course, I didn't play my best. I think I could hold in the end game, but I actually explain also why. I mean, of course, he played very well, but I also messed up in the end. Uh, stay until the end to understand what happened <laughs> i had issues with internet connection so let's start um so i play black again i am i was uh ahead by one point one point half to half um so i would have been okay with a draw here as well and then play the last game with white um i wasn't sure what to expect um in the first, in the previous game he played um the pill bug and the in line um uh, which could have worked but i think i managed to to handle it properly and so he switched to another opening in this case a white buffer which is pretty similar to what i played actually in the game one although this is a z uh, buffer opening <clears throat> and i played a c buffer opening but anyway so here I go for the setup. Um, of course, the, the classical would be uh, the standard diamond. Um, so you have a double defender, and then you will place a pill bag maybe in line or to create a pocket. I decide to go for something a bit different. I think it's pretty playable. Uh, it's just a different kind of game. Um, he goes for an early spider. To be fair, I don't like much this move um as white uh, but because i can simply answer with this and i'm not sure white has really achieved much um because this um full spin is actually what black wants and not only that but now it's black turn so he's basically lost the tempo um of course the black queen is stuck here so you have less option to move the queen around. There's a bit less flexible structure, but um, I feel it's okay. We go on with uh, placing an ant, and the mosquito is in this nice pocket. The problem is how do I interact with this buffer? Um, I decide to go on with another ant. Uh, I could have played this straight away. I wasn't sure actually, I didn't want to risk because this becomes a bit aggressive. The idea would be to play something like this uh, and then place another ant. Um, no, sorry, here. In order to free, uh, the, um, free the mosquito. Um, but I think is not i think it's a bit too much actually for black white has very good control um i wouldn't go for this uh, for this so instead what i do is just keep playing the ant game uh, and then i pin the mosquito i think this was a good idea um keeping the the mosquito as for as long as possible pinned of course not um Forever. The reason is that the pillbug comes in and uh, the the um, the natural move is then to move the pillbug in here, and then you can move the ant away or at the very least uh, um, finish the pocket, and then the mosquito is inside the pocket. Um, so it's actually not pinned for a long time. But uh, I think even moment like temporarily, I thought it was a good idea. Um, and I still have a mosquito using uh, as an ant in the pocket. So to prevent this move, peel bug in, I decide to play the beetle here. Um, white pinned the beetle, but it could have. Uh, so the idea was that if I had played this, I would have just covered the peel bug, and then if it covers back, then I'm actually happy. I got two free ants and I can place another ant as well. After this, uh, I think I, I enjoy as well the ant game. So uh, I don't think it's something white wants to play. Um, so it makes sense to play this first and then 
prepare the pill by moving in. Um, I would be okay also with this move. I think if the pillbug moves in, it frees my ant, right? Uh, of, it potentially frees the mosquito also in, in the long term. But um, now I have already two ants in play and I potentially get a third ant if the pillbug moves there. So definitely it's not the way to go immediately. And this is actually an interesting move. Um, the reason is that uh, I would like to use, like, to pin the beetle with the mosquito, but I can't. Um, right, I can, this doesn't achieve anything. But there was not really another good place for the ant. You know, I, I should have placed an ant here, maybe. Maybe here, but um, but well, no, it doesn't make sense because the beetle, the beetle here cannot be pinned anyway. So yeah, I don't have many other spawn points available. Maybe this one. But I'm afraid that in the long term, white could shift the pin on this ant and now definitely have two ants pinned for a long time because the, the ant number two is in a bi-directional pin. It's, yeah, it's not gonna come out. Um, so all in all, I don't think I regret uh, the move I played. Um, but um, yeah, placing the beetle here is a good option. I can still pin it, but um, after the spin replacement, um, then I don't have any more like this ant game that I was enjoying very much. Of course, I could switch, probably I should have switched here. I instead, I just continue to get control. Um, like the idea is that to, to pin the white hand and to free the black hand uh, in this elbow. Maybe I should have switched the pin, to be fair. Um, even if the beetle moves in, I don't think it's a bad... Uh, it's not bad for me. I, I can still go on with this and pin the ant. And actually, now I do have the ant game. And I still have this anti-spawn set up. So the, the beetle on the hive is not the, the biggest issue. Of course, maybe the spider here would uh, actually um, make sure that white gets two beetles, which maybe is a bit too much. But um, I start to get some material, and especially the ant and the spider here, and the other ant here later on to, to pin some material. I mean, instead, what I did is. Uh, yeah, continue with this, which doesn't didn't seem too bad to me, but I actually don't have time to free the ant. Um, I put a beetle in, maybe maybe I actually should have placed something like this. Uh, and then if, if white goes here, then I can free my ant. Um, maybe it was not too bad, or maybe, uh, well, white will just go for a full ant game. And now... White can pin here. Um, I mean, yeah, maybe white is still okay. To be fair, the problem is that uh, this the beetle pin here is not uh, going to be pinned for long because it's, there are two trigger spots here, right? Um, but anyway, you'll see. Actually, at some point, I made um, even a bigger mistake, which involves this end. So. No, wait, no, this is not what happened. Uh, I actually went with the beetle. The idea was just to go on top of here with the beetle and then continue with the plan. I thought there was time to free my ant here, but actually there's not much time. So, okay, the mosquito uh, is pinned there and uh, white could play a pin replacement soon. Uh, I try to free my ant, but unfortunately it's this trick. <laughs> so, um, if I if I try to free my ant, actually, what happened is that white frees their ant, <laughs> and I have no way to get. I mean, I could get my my ant out, but I create this ring, and then I don't like this position. Definitely, I don't want these two ants blocked here. Um, so what I have to do instead is to make sure that the ant cannot move, and then continue with my plan. But I probably um, probably play too quickly. So after this, I'm not actually in a rush to free my ant. 
The problem is that after I free my ant, he will uh, cover my ant with a beetle. And and white still has got an anti reserve. Um, so I think this was a mistake. I should have just played uh, this. And uh, okay, yeah, the beetle can can move on top, but I've got an ant. Well, actually, probably it doesn't need to move immediately. It will just go for this. And then after this move, uh, and this, um, yeah, probably I, I pin this back. Uh, I think this is okay for still okay for me. I and now I'm planning to uh, to free my uh, to free my mosquito and black and white doesn't really have a way to stop it. Of course, white has this nice pocket and could play around a bit with a beetle, but the idea is that I get enough and control and I also have a beetle on top of the hive and white's got only two pieces available apart from the beetle so um, yeah I think probably was a better choice instead I uh, instead after this I decided to free my ant immediately and then he covered my ant I still have a free ant but the problem is that now is that now the ant here under the beetle will get stuck for a long time and it will be a problem. This is probably also not the best idea. I'll try to pin replace, but if you look at the shape of the hive, I've got already one, two, three, four pieces stuck. Um which is it can't be good. It can't be a good idea. <laughs> I need to use my uh, my spider in a, in a better way. Um I do not see actually how. I mean, the other alternative is this one, with the idea of freeing the mosquito, but still, and will pin it. Um, maybe I, I thought about this move actually, uh, with the idea of yeah pinning. Actually, this was better when I didn't play this, um, because it, it still um, threatened to get a pin replacement in play, but also attack the the ant. So after this. Okay, the spider is no more useful, but at least it's not blocked there. So I, I think I can find a use for the spider at some point. Uh, and I can still go for um, for this with the idea of freeing my mosquito. Anyway, so instead, um, I played this. Um, I thought it was still okay because I have this shape, this omega shape, where I mean, both ants are in, in here. Um, so uh, if white tries to free their ant, I actually get this ant free first. And my plan is any way to get a piece in here. So at that point, I get a, f a favorable elbow for me. So the elbow is good for me because the ant is in the middle. And imagine a piece in here um, to, that frees the mosquito. The white ant actually gets pinned in a straight pin. So um, I thought in the long term it was actually okay. But the problem is that in the short term, I just uh, I gave up another piece, a spider. So I continue with my plan. White pins the ant so that the beetle is free to go. Um, I still felt I had some uh, some 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 good uh, some good ideas. Uh, at least I could resist a bit more, especially because white doesn't have many pieces. But this peel back free. It's a problem because he will be able to free more pieces later on. Anyway, here we'll notice that with the mosquito, I can't really pin the ant here. Well, I thought I could play this. This is okay, uh, but then I have to shift the pin if I don't want to get pinned from by the by the hopper. Uh, White could actually go back here and kind of get into a draw by repetition, but of course, White wants to win, so. Um, no, I didn't like that. I mean, I'm not sure if it was the right thing to do, but instead what I did was to get here. I thought at least my mosquito cannot be pinned, and um, I always have the option to get down here and have this ambiguous diamond, where the middle is my... the middle of the diamond is, is mine, so I always have the options to want to get one of the two free at least um or I, I can use the mosquito and like march back to the center 
Um, yeah, it's hard, hard to say if it was a good choice. Um, also, my idea was to uh, free the ant in this way, but the problem is that it doesn't really achieve much because the spider it's not very useful at the moment. But well, I will keep this for later, and I'll just go on with my beetle trying to get back into the pocket, ready to cover the other beetle. This beetle goes, starts very far, and I think now was the time to play this, because I'm now actually threatening to pin the beetle. The beetle moves in, uh, and then I I can I can pin the, the ant. Maybe I should have actually played this anyway, uh, with the idea of like preventing the, the other beetle to go on top of the hive, because now I have a free ant and I can use it to pin the beetle wherever it is, more or less. Maybe white can create a pseudo pocket somewhere, but um, yeah, so maybe that was a better idea. Uh, but anyway, even even with that, um, it's not the position is not it's still not hopeless for me. First, because I have this um, hopper in the uh, um, in the elbow, so we have one trigger spot. And this ladybug is also pre-swamped, which means that these two are also trigger spots. So I actually have three trigger spots. The problem is that the, if you have two beetles, you can cover the ladybug and cover the hopper. Still, they're, they're good trigger spots for me, but it's a bit harder. If I had prevented the, beat, the second beetle from go, going on top of the hive, then I think I would have had more chances. Because um, even with the Zutzwang, if there are all these trigger spots, is probably okay for me. I can get one of the pieces out uh, anyway. You will see now. Um, okay, let's go on with this. I free my other ant. I thought it still was doing okay, especially if I um, block the queen here. The, the pill bug marches towards the queen. Um, but I think as long as <clears throat> I have uh, free moves, so of course the, the the mosquito gets out and white is still trying to get total control and force me in Zutzwang. But as long as I have the beetle here, it's fine. And even if the beetle, which is what happened, the beetle gets chased, I still have um, a move that I can always play. And even with the shutout, um, now, now, notice that now, sorry, notice that now I only have that my only move mailable is my only piece mobile is the mosquito. Um, so I have to move it. But if I move it, I will get pinned. If I move it here, it will get pinned. Which probably was not a bad idea anyway, actually. I decided to go for something different. Um, basically to keep both my mosquito and... Uh, oh no, sorry. I decided to go here to go on top of the beetle. To use the mosquito as a beetle. I actually was afraid of, no, sorry, I was afraid of the mosquito pinning my mosquito and having all these three pinned, but it will free my end, so still fine. Um, white goes here, I basically uh, pin re replace the pin so that the mosquito can go out. I was thinking maybe even just playing this, maybe it wasn't that bad. Even if white pins here, okay, I have no legal moves. But what's white plan? Um, if the the hopper moves, I have a free ant. If the mosquito moves, I have another ant. Um, okay, there is this beetle moving around. I'm not sure. I think at some point, uh, white plan was to get on top of this beetle and then move the spider here and into into here. The problem is this is actually a, a trigger spot, as we said. Um, maybe this was actually the best move. <clears throat> I mean, uh, there might be long maneuvers to win for white anyway, but... So, I decided to go here instead with the mosquito. White uh, replaced the pin. The mosquito's free. <clears throat> uh, I'm not sure what to do. I get... I, I keep the mosquito free. Um... And I just wait. And here, the thing is, there's no... White has got three um, beetles on top of the hive, but there's no uh, easy sequence to win. Because whenever you get in this spot, uh, and you, well, you take both these spots, left and bottom right of the queen, the ladybug gets free. 
and whenever you take the, the top left the hopper gets free um so i just wait and actually yeah white is trying to find another way to win uh, trying to free other pieces but there must be always a play a piece here to free that to do to keep my ant under the mosquito um, there otherwise i will have two free ants and then it becomes even more complicated to win for white so <clears throat> i just continue with this i okay the idea was all this to free an ant and okay it can force a sort of shutout out again um although i still have a hopper able to move i just jump around um is changing again this is replacing the the cover this time instead of the pin okay white converts to a uh, sorry a beetle again i go here with the idea of uh um what was the idea no i'm just i'm just taking time actually um back here okay now i i actually maybe i should have i shouldn't have played this actually i should have just gone back and forth with this back and forth back and forth but anyway uh, this is what happened um but even even with this situation he just traded the mosquito for an ant so okay i'm basically in shutdown at the moment uh, almost shut down um shut out uh anyway Okay, the, uh, the hopper gets back in here with the idea to the idea that if the spider gets in here now, then the, the queen is free because it creates the pocket. So white waits, but there's not much to wait. Oh, this was actually probably... No, I think it's still fine. Um, and then, then I'm uh, waiting, 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 waiting. I'll show you what point I make. I made a, a big mistake um okay at this point more or less here um i wanted to like i made a mess with the internet connection i i disconnected the cable <laughs> and uh, uh i lost a few minutes i mean it's not it's not uh, i'm not saying uh it's justification for for losing but just to give you a bit of fun fact <laughs> Um so actually I had five minutes and now I have less than two minutes. And here uh I think I was still doing fine. Uh after this though, okay, this is okay for me. I free my, my hopper here. And now this is the tricky moment, and here I play the wrong move. Um and okay, this is still fine probably. Um so you, you see now this hopper can get out and now i have three uh, liberties for my queen three empty kill spots and he only has two beetle so the idea is to get in with the pill bug and throw the ant into that kill spot so my question is can i stop that and i play this move which is unfortunately the wrong move <laughs> because after this then the, I, I created the ring i thought i could use the pill bug power or cover the beetle but actually i uh, missed that this ring actually wins or white and now uh, I don't have any uh, way to stop um, white oh I, I try to create the ring but it doesn't work uh, maybe I should create another sort of ring but still no this goes here maybe a move earlier I, uh, I could have played something different maybe um, not really so my uh my big mistake was this was in the mosquito here so instead of doing this why don't we just play yeah this first okay and now the idea the only idea i see here is getting the pill bug in here fine but now is the right time to get sorry come on go here with the mosquito now it's the right time to do it first because i can cover the beetle one of the two beetles second because i could use pillback power which if this happened no well if the white keeps the ring i could use pillback power to warp the pillback away 
And third, because actually it pre-swamps the ladybug underneath, so it, the, the build bug of the ladybug before this was in this bi-directional pin, which makes it harder for me to defend. Uh, I'm not sure now, but there might be some variations where this is a problem. So uh, this was probably a good move. And after this, I cover the beetle, and now, voila, white <laughs> needs two pieces, but it doesn't have two pieces, there's only one. But I messed it up. I mess it up. <laughs> I don't want to cry, but okay, fine. Whatever happens. With less than a minute, um, if White doesn't doesn't take it, place this. Uh, just waiting. Uh, I think I can just wait as well. White plays here, and again the problem is okay. For White, that this this beetle cannot move. Oh wait, if he moves, the ladybug gets out. And, now, and then I'm fine because then definitely there are too many empty kill spots around. Uh, if this pill, if this beetle move, we are in the same situation as before. I just pin the beetle. I just cover the beetle. Yeah. Uh, the lesson is first, don't mess up with your internet connection. Uh, second lesson is never give up because even the situation that seem uh, hopeless in the end. They might, you know, they, they still use might still get a draw, uh, even in long end games. Try to be as active as possible, um, and count the pieces. Because if you get enough pieces to defend, like if your opponent doesn't have enough pieces to attack, then then you're still fine. I mean, you're not gonna win, but definitely. Well, at this point, I mean, I'm not saying I'm gonna win, but I could even try to play for a win. Uh, because white definitely cannot win. But anyway, this is not what happened. Unfortunately, uh, my choice was the wrong one, was this one. So the other lesson is actually don't make rings if they don't work, unless you're very sure about it. Hopefully the fourth game will go better for me. <laughs> but I thought it was a very interesting game. Um, a good control, long game. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.